Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Boutique. My name is Heather. This is my channel where I talk about all the th things. For today's video, I figure I'd keep it simple and easy and just do some repotting with you guys. I really don't have much to talk about, but I'm sure something will pop up while I'm repotting. But anywho, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and smash the notifications bell. You guys are absolutely fantastic, and I hope everybody's doing great and had a wonderful week. Let's just get into this video, shall we? I only have four plants to repot. Everyone else seems to be doing okay. I just went through and picked out the plants that I really need to get in new pots. So we are going to start with my Begonia Rex. I don't remember the full name of you. If anybody could identify this guy for me, that'd be wonderful. Let me know in the comments below. But you can see why he needs repotted, because uh, he's just chilling in there. For this guy though, I'm probably just gonna use a, his existing soil as like a plug, but because the soil doesn't look that bad, I just wanna make sure he has enough. Oh, hold on, I need to move you guys. <laughs> hold on. Okay. We're going in. <laughs> he's just going right back into this pot anyway. I'm just gonna set him here. And I. I'm honestly just going to keep the soil he's in. I might just take some of the soil off, especially the top part. But I don't want to disturb the roots and I don't want to mess them up. So I'm just going to add some soil into the pot. I used to have a repotting mat, but I don't know where that went. So I'm hoping that I don't make a mess. Nope, that's too much soil. <laughs> now that I've been uh, doing this for a few years now, I just, I learned so much more and I kind of want to redo the, uh, the beginner's houseplant guide video because I was a beginner myself when I was doing that video and I kind of, um, reevaluated some of my tips and tricks and now I just want to redo it to show you guys what I have changed regarding my plant care. Add some more soil it's just kind of just to kind of backfill it the best I can but I'm gonna do it down here so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Refreshing the soil for your plants will help them also. Sometimes you don't even have to do a full repot. You can just add topsoil or add the soil on top and kind of, you know, mix it in there just to give it a little oomph. All right, there's the first one. The next one is my uh, Raffida 4 Decursiva Dragon Tail. So cute. I can't wait till it starts to get the fenestrations. But anytime you need to repot a plant, check the bottom of the pot. If there are roots coming out, it is time. And there are a little bit of roots coming out of that one. So I just want to get it into a new home before it is uh, outgrowing its pot. I'm going to put it into this one though. It is currently in a four inch pot. Anytime you upsize your plants from like say a four inch pot, you go up two inches, so a six inch pot. You never want to give it too much room because that can just cause lots of problems for your plant and a lot of headache for you. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so try and be as careful as possible getting them out of the pot. Sometimes they will give you some issues. I save all of my nursery pots because you know, all I'm doing is just cleaning off some of the soil just because it is a little, uh, a little bad. Mm -hmm. 
try and do it as gently as you can. Sorry I don't have it visible. I just want to make sure I don't make a bigger mess than I've intended. <laughs> Plants that have like thicker tuber roots like this guy, I don't mind taking the soil off only because they're a little bit more hardy. Just get as much as you can because the roots will find their way. All right, so I got a good portion of it done. Just going to get some more off. All right, here we go. Perfect. I'm going to stick it in there until I can... Oh, okay. That's fine. I should wear gloves, but it's too late for that now. <laughs> add your plant. Oh yeah, he's gonna be much happier in here. I'll probably have a little bit more soil just to raise it up a teeny bit. Awkward doing it with my left hand, but I need to be able to hold the plant too. Make sure you give it a good old tappy tap. So uh, the soil will go around the roots without having to press on it too much. I'm going to end up patting it down here in a second. I just like to get a good portion of soil in there first before I do any patting. I don't like my soil being too packed anyway because the roots need to have wiggle room and they need to be able to move around the soil without any problems. I'm using um, Happy Farm Soil. I absolutely love it. I think it's Happy Farms or Happy Frog or Fox Farm. It's, I'll put a picture up there for you guys. I just don't have it up here with me because I just scooped what I needed into a couple pots. That was a little damaged, but I think it's because it was squished up in a four inch pot. Perfect. Look at that. New home. Yay. Next one is my Homo Lamina Selby. Yeah, you can tell it needs some help. Going to go ahead and get rid of all the soil. I'm not even saving any of it. It's coming off. That was easy. <laughs> it all just fell off. Nice. Okay, cool. That was easy. It literally just fell off like that. I think I'm just gonna stick it right in here. That's fine. If you guys have seen any of my other repotting videos, you'll quickly learn that when I start doing the thing, I end up not talking as much because I get super hyper focused. Got a little ADHD. <laughs> I did bring more soil up. Alright, I think it'll be much happier in what I'm putting it in now because what it was in was not the best. I think that about does it for that one. I will be watering all these off camera, but you want to make sure after you repot any of your plants that they are all nice and watered thoroughly. When I say thoroughly, making sure the water is coming out of the bottom of the pot, but not so quick that the plant doesn't get all the water it needs. That's definitely good. I'm getting quicker at repotting. This is nice. <laughs> and I'll go through and trim up all the dead leaves and stuff. Oh, it looks so much happier already in there. Definitely needs a drink, but we will be doing that. And then this is my 
lemon lime. <laughs> My lemon lime philodendron. Um, this one is gonna be a fun one because he's on a trellis. Wood stake thing, but I think he might be okay to be off of it. So I'm just going to remove it from the stake. I might put it back in, we'll see. But again, remove the plant from the soil, remove the plant from the pot, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, it was really in there. Oh, I hope I didn't just break the stem. Oh, I did not. Whew. Yeah, this soil is not the best. I cannot wait to get it out of here. Stick it in this pot though because it all oh, that looks so good. Yep. I don't know where to put it right now. I'm gonna set it right here. Please do not snap. That's good. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. Oh, you guys probably can't see me anymore. I'm sorry. That's okay. You guys are here for the plants anyway, not me. <laughs> okay, yeah, it needs a steak. Stick that back in there and then grab the twist. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll have to grab Velcro instead then because I threw away the twisty tie. Oh, I did. That's right here. I'll use a twisty tie for right now until I switch it over to Velcro. I just want it to just stand up for right now. Making sure you repot your plants will ensure that they have a happy and healthy life and it's kind of stress relieving. It's really fun just to get your hands in the dirt. I love it. That's my favorite part about owning plants is just getting dirty. Well, that wraps up my repotting video. I only had four plants. Um, I know I went over that already, but anywho, you guys are amazing. I love the plant community. I just love being a part of something that's so positive and it just brings so much light to my world and you guys bring so much joy into my youtube community and i love it i absolutely love it you guys are i came i can't even put words to it you guys are amazing that's it that is it if you guys would like to see how i take care of all of these plants please subscribe to my channel hit that thumbs up and smash the notifications bell I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Stay beautiful. Happy planting.